My name is Max Suckling. I'm a professor at the University of Auckland in New Zealand and also a science group leader for biosecurity with the New Zealand Institute for Plant and Food Research. I'm here at Fondation Edmund Match as part of a collaboration with the Institute here to study and learn about the brown marmorated stink bug, Chimichi asiatica, here in Italy. This is a very threatening pest for New Zealand because our industries are largely based around agriculture and horticulture and this pest eats everything. We're very worried about its impacts on kiwifruit, for example, as well as on apples and a range of other crops. And here in Italy, it's going through an outbreak. It's scary to watch it. So here in Italy, the group is studying a range of interesting things about this bug. They're looking at the sound communication, and the people here are looking at that as a possible way of improving the surveillance we're also looking at other things that we might be able to do against this bug. For example, the sterile insect technique. And this is a technique which is used here in Europe against the Mediterranean fruit fly. And in New Zealand, we also have a program against the codling moth, Pedia pomonella. And this is a very successful program using insects that we import from Canada. They're reared in a factory in Canada and sterilized and shipped to New Zealand. And we release them in the orchards and we're driving the population down. We can see different life stages in the culture of the brown marmorated stink bug here at Fondation Edmund Match. We have newly laid eggs, which we have in this petri dish here. And you can see that some of those eggs are starting to change color. And that's because they're developing and getting ready to hatch. And when the eggs hatch out, you can see in this other petri dish, that we've actually got little nymphs, young nymphs, which have hatched out and are clustered around the egg batch. Soon after that, we give them some moisture and they go through another molt, their first molt, and that turns them into slightly larger nymphs. And you can see in the cage here, we've got a whole range of different sizes from the small ones through to much larger ones, and even these larger ones again, which are the adults, male and female. There's the female there, there's a male there. They're quite active in the cage, as you can see. So one of the projects that they are doing here at Fondation Edmund Match is called Bug Map. And this is a very exciting example of citizen science where modern technologies can be used to help understand the movement of insects on the landscape. And pests such as the brown marmorated stink bug are a good target. They say, Scarica bug map, download bug map. In New Zealand, I have colleagues that are doing a similar project called Nature Watch. And when someone in the public sees something unusual, they take a picture and they send it to the website, the same as bug map. And this allows the people who, here at Fondacion to make a map of where the stink bugs are, what kind of numbers they're growing into on the landscape. And this allows everyone to see the same information. It's a fantastic opportunity for the public to get involved. Scatica bug map. Download bug map.